Chef Freddy here from Fantasy Springs with my tip of the week. Today, I'm gonna to show you how to make crispy pan-fried sauerkraut cakes. To get started, I put the sauerkraut in the bowl after I drained it and squeezed it as, as most moisture as possible. And to that, we're gonna add about eight ounces of grated potato, same thing. I put it on a terry cloth towel and rolled it up and squeezed as much moisture as possible out of there. We're gonna add about a, th a third cup of all-purpose flour. We're gonna see, after we mix the egg and put this together, we could always add a little more flour. And then next is our scallions. I like for this to use the green part only. Okay, one whole egg. Now for this one, it's better to get your hands into. So, because you really wanna get this thoroughly mixed, it's hard to do with just a spatula. We're gonna add about a good teaspoon and a half of kosher salt and a few grounds of fresh black pepper. Thank you, chef. No way to not stop and wash my hands. Get it a good non-stick skillet on the stove, medium-high heat. I'm using a little blend of olive and canola oil here. Just gonna form these nice little, almost like a potato pancake shape. Make them about two ounces. Make them a little bigger if you like, or a little smaller. Remember not to crab the plate at all, because you want to be able to get in there with your spatula to be able to flip these carefully. Now once it, one side gets nice and golden brown, it's time to give this a flip. Now another thing, what I did was I preheated an oven to about 250 degrees, maybe th three, 275. That way you can put these in and cook them a little further and keep them real nice and crisp until you're ready to eat. So if you like a nice gourmet hot dog and you don't want to use the traditional sauerkraut, the side sauerkraut cake is a great way to go. Like we did right here. We have a Kobe beef hot dog, caramelized onions, a little grain Dijon mustard, and our crispy sauerkraut cakes. I'm Chef Freddy from Fantasy Springs, and I'll see you next time. Forget about it.